All right. I haven't picked oak in a couple days, so uh, needs to be picked. <laughs> but um, it finally rained. We had like a week of no rain. Finally rained, and everything just got a reprieve. That's bad when even okra wilts. Like it's so hot that even okra wilts. That's bad. <laughs> All right. The ants are enjoying farming the aphids as well. <laughs> we do have aphids and the ants farm them and use them. <laughs> But I'm not too worried about it. We're still getting a really good harvest of okra. I'm not worried about a few aphids or a few ants. Not gonna bother me none. Along with that big old rainstorm comes nicer weather. We have cooler temperatures. It is still hot, don't get me wrong. Still hot and I'm still gonna sweat a little bit. But it's not like burning me up. It's not killing me out here. <laughs> so it's better. you basket what you doing what you doing girl yeah now that's a good mess of okra <laughs> that is how much okra i got off of one picking just after not picking for a couple of days that's a whole family's worth of okra like, that's a whole meal that's good I yeah like that that that's a lot of okra <laughs> have i showed you the hidden pumpkin <laughs> no you haven't the pumpkin came to life again i thought the whole plant was dead but it rerooted into the ground and it gave us a pumpkin and the chickens have not discovered it that's, so it is growing that's crazy and we're gonna cook that thing up look at this it, thing so, yeah <laughs> we're gonna have pumpkin pie it's big so the tomatoes are about played out that's the last thing that i've got to like take care of i've got to get any of the tomatoes that are blushing or about to blush and pull them we're gonna go ahead and harvest the last bit and then it's time to cut these tomato plants down and it's time to get this bed ready for fall planting yes it is that time already to start thinking about fall planting and the tomatoes are just about done so let's get them hi hi come here come here come here hi yeah hey yeah come here come here hi here we go yeah. i'm gonna go up we need to get a carrier some yeah. sort of carrier you or snuck a cage. them up i'm gonna try that, okay. they did dump animals yeah they, these were dumped they, they these animals are have been dumped yeah that truck that we saw pulled over it did sped off yeah we saw a truck up the road that was acting suspicious and, and i'm pretty sure pretty sure that they dumped them I'm pretty sure we just saw someone dump their animals. Okay, daddy's gonna go try to get a carrier or a cage for y'all, okay? Come here. Yeah, come here, babies. We're gonna get some yum yums for y'all. Oh, we're gonna take care of y'all. Yeah, it's okay. Y'all are gonna be safe now. Y'all are gonna be well taken care of. Yeah, and we're gonna make sure y'all are okay. I'm so sorry that y'all got dumped. Yeah, I'm so sorry they did that. But we, we won't abandon you. Come on, come back, sweetie. Come here, don't go far, okay? Don't go far. Daddy, you'll be right back, okay? Come here, come here. Don't go far, okay? Come here. That's a good kitty. You are a good kitty. Yes, you're a very good cat. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, little sweet. Come here, little sweet. Yeah, come here, little sweet. You are so snuggly. Very affectionate, yeah. Where'd y'all come from, huh? Y'all are all wet. Y'all were out in the rain. Y'all got left out in the rainstorm. Yeah. Poor baby. You don't like being wet. I know. Where? Where? Where'd y'all even come from? 
Huh? Where'd y'all even come from? My goodness, and the other one is under the truck right now. There's four of them total. There's that one right there. Oh, this one just came out from under the truck. That's two, and then the orange one's three, and then there's one right here. Yeah, and they are beautiful. Y'all are beautiful. Meow. That's a good kitty. Meow. That's a good baby. Yeah, that's a good baby. Y'all come with me and I'll give you food and shelter and soft, dry places to sleep. Yeah. Y'all come home with me. Yeah. We have a good place for you, I promise. Got all good things for you, Tater Tot. All good things. Oh, cutie. Oh, cutie. Poor wet baby. Oh, poor wet baby. They seem healthy. They're just wet and dirty. <laughs> but they seem very healthy. They're going to be okay. Okay, I hear them coming. I hear Daddy and Lily coming. They're coming with a cage or something. Hopefully some wet cat food. They're coming to help me. <laughs> hey, do y'all have wet cat food by chance? Okay. I need y'all to go slow. I need you to approach slowly, okay? My children have come to save me. <laughs> My children have come to help. Oh, bless their hearts. They are so sweet. My kids are so helpful. They're coming to help, guys. They're coming to help y'all. Guys? Guys, I need y'all to approach slowly and quietly. And just talk real sweet to them. If you do the sweet voice, they like it. Just talk real sweet, okay? Come here. Come here. There is. There's one hiding under the truck. No, they're not hairless, but um, this one's got multicolored, like, gray fur, and um, that one's a little skittish. So, that one's the most skittish. So, this one's multicolored. This one's yellow. The other one's more like this, like gray. Yeah, that one's pretty. And just go slow. They're just move. long hair. Yeah, just move real slow. And they're all wet, and they're miserable. They're all wet. Where's the fourth? Um, so, the skittish one, and then there's one under there. If you squat down and just talk to it, squat down and talk to it and it'll come to you. Yeah. You can love on it and touch it. Yeah, just pet on it for a minute. Hey, do you want a can of food, Lily? Um, yeah. So I had just. So I had just gotten the skittish one to come to me, but then it ran away when it saw other people. Yeah, that one's multicolored. Just squat yeah. down and talk to it. Find a way to get it yeah, okay. Yeah, just talk to it. Yeah. Yeah. Slowly. Just put it in there. There you go. That's two. Watch his tail. Oh. Oh. Sorry. I didn't mean to not pay attention. Okay, we got two. All right, we're going to be calm. Go slow. Um, if you did say there's someone dropping the animal off, that should be what we're doing. Um, there we go. We're going to go back. I got to get these cats. But she, he said that he saw, he told you about the brown SUV earlier. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh. They these were dropping cats. cats. literally ran out of the woods when we pulled in. Yeah. Like they came out to these, greet us and they were crying. And cats that they're dumping. Yeah. That, that brown SUV absolutely just dropped them and, and left. That's what happened. All right. We got three. Nope. Not yet. We don't. There you go. His feet are, his I cage the is a other little one. smaller than it. That's okay. It just needs to get home. We just got to get it home. There's three. Okay, now the right. last Fourth one. Is right there. The last one, we're just going to have to go slow. Where and you got to squat down and talk to it three. in the woods right there. Okay. The last can is on top of the cage. Yeah. That one really Meh. Meh. Where's Ava? Yeah. So the best way to do it, Lily, was to sit back here and let it come to you. So eventually, she's gonna try to okay. feed it. Yeah, eventually it, it came to me. Careful. I hope there was only four. There may have been more of them. I hope there was only four. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 
That's what I was just saying is that I hope there was only four, but maybe, maybe oh, not. Can you, can you, oh, I see. I see it, it's here. Oh, yeah, there's two, honey. There's two right here. Okay, well, we only have four carriers, so. Then start bringing them down with Lily. the truck. Bring another. Lily. 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 That one's friendly. You don't have to worry. Yeah, this one's nice. Yeah. I'm going to go look see if that truck dumped something. Okay. We'll stay here with the cats. Um, Reese, do you want to start carrying two hey, Dad, cats Dad, back? Just to, yeah, just bring me the empty carriers back. Um, there, just put them for now, the dog cage in the dining room that has a litter box in it, just put them in that cage, yeah. All right, Dad, you should be good now. I don't, like, grabbing it's not going to do anything. Do I put it in the truck? So just sit, sit with it for a minute. He's going to go deliver. Yeah, he's going to, he's going to go, I know, he's going to go deliver two cats. I can hold a cat if you need me to. Here. Well, can you take your jacket off, favorite, uh, Lily? Oh, yeah. Can you take your jacket off for me, Lily? Like, oh, I know, okay. but if we Make wrap sure it up. Oh, no. That's the same one, Lily. Oh, uh, no. No, it is no. Avery. no, that's not the same There's one. Oh, no, that's not the same one. That's another cat. Come here. Come here. That's Come here. Come here. That's their dog food, Adam. So Come here. Oh, that's their dog food. Um, if at all possible, if you could just wrap that one up, and I know it's not going to want to stay in your arms, you know, but, if, but if you could just hold it and feed it, yeah, if you could just hold it and feed it, that'd be great. Dad chucked dog food Avery's out gonna, the window at us. Yeah, and they're going to eat that, actually. I know it's dog food, but they're going to eat that if we open it. Okay. Avery's talking to that one down in the ditch, trying to get it to come. You want to bring Avery some food? Bring Avery the dog food slowly. Avery, we're bringing you a treat to entice the cat, I'm okay? Open it. Mom, we're bringing you a treat. They're really young. Its paws are huge and it's not. Oh, they're young kitties. They yeah. They look like the same type as Jasper. So someone had a breeding problem, you and know, a population problem, and they just chucked them, yeah. They all look related. Yeah. Coloring. Yeah, someone had a couple batches of kittens and they just chucked them. If you go around to that side, you can see where you should, like, figure out where the other one Okay, I don't know how to get it though. No, it's in the clearing area. We don't have to get it. Just keep your eye on okay. it. Okay. I have a feeling it's going to come to us whether we catch it today or not. It's going to stay around here. Yeah, but I don't want to lose sight of it for now. Okay. Here. Okay. We got it. Okay, hold on tight to it. Here. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Here. I'm sorry. I know. I know. Oh, oh, oh. Grab it. Grab it. Good. Good. Even if you threw food all over yourself, you're okay. You're My right. socks are absolutely We got good. this one. This thing is rough. Okay, we caught the one Avery was talking to in the ditch. We caught it. Okay, so we just need the last two cats. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this one's a lot more skittish. So that, that's the one that we're keeping an eye on. We can't catch it. Do you think that's a mom? It might be the mom. Yeah, um, this one over here, it's not like young, young, but it's not old either. It's like maybe two or three. I don't know if any of these are pregnant either. <laughs> Well, they can breed at four months old. Uh, oh, no, actually, he's trying to get these other two cats home, and then he's going to bring me some more carriers, yeah. All right, yeah, take those home, and then bring me back the carriers, please. Thank you. I appreciate it. 
Yeah, Reese had to try to get those other two cats into cages, and then he was coming back to give me the carriers. Well, um, Miles, you want to walk with me to see if there's any more cats? <laughs> Though we have no carrier at the moment, but they're bringing them to us. Dad went to go see what that other truck down there was doing to see if it was dumping animals. And then he just now loaded up the two cats that we caught, and he's going to bring me back the carriers. Um, okay, so we're looking for any other cats out here. This is Meow. 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 That's actually our dogs you're hearing echoing from over there. Wait, no, that's an owl. Yeah, that's an owl. I think if there was any more that they would have uh, come up to us by now. Because these cats are really friendly. Come here, babies. But how many is that all together? Six, right? Six cats. Uh, no, six. it's right. six, yeah, because yeah, yeah. we just took four to the house. You got one, and then there's the skittish one. Yeah. Do you see the skittish one anymore? I don't, but it's dark colored, and the leaves are all dark. So yeah, it's and worst case scenario, we'll leave food out for it and uh, just get it to come to us. Dang, that one's hungry, huh? Yeah, it's almost got the can. <laughs> Anytime I move the can, it just goes through. <laughs> Well, at least it's not shy. <laughs> not at all. It's a beautiful kitty. Mm -hmm. They've obviously never been in cages before. They don't know what a cat carrier is. I think these were wild outdoor animals that were just uh, breeding unchecked. Yeah. Yay, he's coming back with carriers. Just in case there's more of them. <laughs> we need two more carriers. Anyway, one for Lily's cat and one for the shy one. Thank you, honey. Yeah. All right, take one carrier to Lily. And then I got to try to find the shy one. It wandered off, but I got to try to go find it. Yep. So hand, hand me one of those, Avery. Over oh, here. here. Take one that has food in it. Here. Oh, oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Those, if you got food in it, that's even better. This one's a little bit harder to get a cat into because it's small, but it's got food in it. Yeah. Miles, why are you walking around this way? Meow. Meow. Come here, kitty. Come here, kitty. Come here, kitty. Lily, I'm not sure that it's still in the patch of trees. Oh, there it is. Found it. Come here. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I see it, but I can't do anything about it. Come here. Come here, baby tot. Come here. It's a baby. It's a baby. Yeah. Straight forward. Okay. As far as you can. Yep. Coming. Perfect. Oh. Right. Over here. Right there. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Wait. Hold still. Hold still, guys. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Over here. Yeah, this is one cat that's not going to let us catch it. Yeah. That would be good, yeah. I can bring a trap and set it down in there or up here or something. Down in that big ravine right there. Yeah. That's where I caught Duchess. I dove down all the way in there. Yeah, but Duchess was sick and slow. Yeah. That one's fast. All right. Okay. You caught the one Lily had? Yeah, Okay. The one Lily had was easy to catch, huh? <laughs> Someone jumped six cats. Possibly more. There may have been six more that ran off. We know about. 
There's six that we know about. And we know that someone pulled into the driveway earlier. Yeah. And so I think it's time to put a camera up down here. Yeah, start it is. Start seeing people. Yep. I still can't believe that just happened. Like, I, I mean, we knew that was coming eventually, you know, having a rescue and people knowing that we're here. Eventually someone was going to dump their animal with us or drop off an animal. We thought an animal, no six, <laughs> six <No>. animals. <laughs> uh, we caught five and we're going to set a trap for that last one. I have a live animal trap. I'm just going to put it down in that big ditch over there by those trees and just hope that it comes in there, it gets hungry uh, or wants to shelter or something. I'm gonna put a blanket over it and just um, hope that it crawls in that trap. Maybe we can catch it. This is one time where that superpower I wish for would come in handy, the one where I could convey my intentions into the minds of animals. But I don't have that power yet. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I still can't believe that this like is the reality now that people are dumping animals on us. That's the reality we're at now. And I'm with Wes. Like, I hate to do it, but to hold people accountable, to, like, have some sort of accountability, I really think that we're going to have to install some sort of camera or monitoring system just to see <coughs> who they are, get a license plate or something, get a face, something. Yeah, because you can't just dump and run. At yeah. least come and talk to us because now yeah. what if we can't catch this cat and it dies? Or right. What if the cats you dump or the dogs you dump start eating our chickens and our livestock or start injuring? Yeah. Um, or, you know, the worst case, what if someone dumps a dog that's not super friendly with kids and Miles gets hurt? <laughs> right. You know? What like if someone that's... gets bit, you know, and yep. hurt? And so. we're not going to be ugly to you. Like, we won't be mean or ugly about it if we tell you that we can't help you. We're going to try to tell you what things that you can do, you know, yep. some options, options, options or yep. something. And we can always help. Even if we yeah. can't take an animal, we can always help get it adopted yeah. or we'll find We'll figure a something out, but I'd rather you something. come sit down and have a cup of tea or something and, and talk to me about it. I'd rather you come in my house and talk to me about yep. your situation. Don't just dump six cats on me. <laughs> Please yep. don't do that. Um, yeah, so we're going to get these kitties in there, um, see if we can get them washed up, cleaned up. Just kind of assess what we've got males females what what, what are we dealing with here they seem yeah. young and thank heavens for an incredible community um you know a, a wonderful community member just recently donated a bunch of cages to us yes and so the, the that that is yes. like a saving thing for us with these cats otherwise we wouldn't have been able to, to somebody knew these. somebody knew that we were going to need that mm -hmm. somebody knew that we were going to need those cages and we just so happened that's not coincidence. We just so happened to have gotten all these animal cages, and now it's it's raining cats. <laughs> so let's get home and take care of this. And it's and, raining, storming. Who, and it's actually stormed, like dump, literally raining. It's why, literally yeah, storming. Yeah, why would someone dump? It stormed bad today. Like, I'm talking bad. Why yeah. would someone dump Yeah. all those cats? Six cats. Someone yeah. dumped six cats. And, and when, I, they, the kids literally saw, while we were gone, the kids literally saw someone pull up in the driveway course the kids are taught not to go outside so right. it doesn't they, matter yeah the kids but, weren't, weren't going to go interact but they yeah, see but they, they saw see that someone pull, pull yeah. up in the driveway and, and yeah yeah and i, I know cats are be better at handling themselves in the wild than a, than dogs are i know cats are more yeah. equipped uh to survive yeah their own, but, but when they're house cats number one if you're going to dump a cat in the wild, dumping it at someone's house that has chickens and, and stuff like that is, is not a, a great mean idea. thing to do. Not Number a great two, idea. house cats are not acclimated to living no, in the wild. No, and the, so. these obviously are pets. They yeah. let us snuggle them. They let us pet them. These are pets. Yeah. And they got rained on. Yep. Oh, and cats don't like yep. the rain. So, all right, let's get these cats. Yeah, and I got to have some dinner and, and then I can yeah, work some dinner more. Yet. Then yep. I can work some more because I got a lot of work ahead of me. <laughs> okay, so we, we have the trap and we are walking down to the place where we last saw the cat. Um, we're just going to kind of put it right there in that spot uh, in the area right there. I don't know if y'all can see, but in the edge of those trees, in those tree lines. Uh, mm -hmm. So we can just set the trap there and hopefully i don't catch a raccoon you know? yeah or one of our or one of our barn cats. yeah we have milk and holly hopefully we don't catch milk or holly uh -huh. now if i can remember how to yeah you have to pull the thing pull the, oh, pull, push this yeah, back push that back and pull it up. Yeah. okay slide that up yeah. and then it's good 
All right, there we go. Trap set. So hope we catch us a cat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And not a coon or a possum. Good morning, big family. Um, sorry, we all just woke up and jumped jumped into our clothes. Uh, it's it's a beautiful, like overcast morning. I love mm -hmm. it. It's not hot Indeed. or anything. Yep. So we're um, headed down the driveway to go check the trap. We're gonna see if uh, there's anything in it. Come with us. We got her! I knew it! I knew it! We got her! We got something. Looks like. No, we got her. Is that Look. her? Or is yeah. That Molly? No, that's her. This is her. Yeah. We got yeah. her. Good kitty. Good kitty went into the trap. Yeah, she was hungry. Good baby. Oh, it's okay. I know. I know. I know. You didn't like being stuck out here all night. I know. That was rough. But we're going to get you home. We're going to get you home, baby. That was a good idea about the trap, yeah. honey. That worked. That worked, guys. We got her. We got her. Let's get her home. Okay, now we're on our way to the fundraiser. We got... Uh, Tully B here, we got Tully B, and on the bottom we got Charlie. So these are the two cats, the two boys that are going to try to find a home today. We're going to try to get them adopted, so let's head out to Demopolis. And here we are, folks. I got my Dr. Pepper. We are set up. We got the two kitties there in their prospective cages. With they're, not their, so happy. they're not so happy, but they have their litter, their food, and their water. They're, they don't understand what we're doing, but it's it's a good thing. It's good for them. Um, so we're set up here in this little canopy right outside the tractor supply in Demopolis, and we're just going to see how it goes. I hope we get a lot of donations because we just got a lot of cats. <laughs> so I hope we get some help. So far, so good. We've already got one. It's yeah, still early. So far, so good. Yeah. We'll see, and hopefully somebody will want a nice house cat, and maybe we can get one of these guys adopted. That would be good. <laughs> well, guys, I just got a huge surprise, a huge blessing in our life. I did not expect that. So here at Tractor Supply, they happen to be doing this raffle thing, this uh, the drawing where you write your information on a small piece of paper and you drop it in the box, right? Well, it was a radio station that was putting it on, and they said, come get some pizza. I said, some pizza? They said, yeah, if you fill out one of these papers, drop it in the box, you get a free slice of pizza and a Coke. And I said, oh, it's about lunchtime. I'm hungry. I'd like some pizza, you know. And I was just talking and chatting with them. Jotted my info down. Didn't think anything of it. Got my little pizza. I was so excited to have a free lunch, right? I was like, yes, pizza. I was like, that was a blessing in and of itself. And then a little while later, they rush out the door and they say, are, are you Angie? You're, you're Angie, right? Angie Blair? And I was like, yeah, that's me. And they said, you won. Come here. You won. I was like, I, I won? And they were like, yeah, come here. Come here. I was like, what did I win? And they said, well, it, the tickets. We, we we were doing the raffle for Six Flag tickets. And I was like, I won tickets to Six Flags? And they're like, yeah, come get them. So I got four tickets to Six Flags in Georgia, y'all. <laughs> we're going to Six Flags, y'all. I can't believe I won those tickets. That was crazy, but that was really good. And now we come to the end of a very long day, <laughs> a very long weekend too. The fundraiser was a huge success. And I measure that success by um, not only like did we get some funding and some money to continue the rescue, but also like people donated stuff. People donated cat food, dog food, cat litter. You know, they, they really helped us out. And that was such a huge blessing. And I just wanted to just take a moment to be grateful for all the things that we're blessed with. Just, um, I know this would <laughs> be fun. I know this isn't, you know, uh, a religious platform, and I, I usually don't get into religion or talk about things that are, um, you know, some people may or may not agree with, but I do talk about my faith and my own beliefs a little bit on my channel. And this is one of those times when I'm going to say that God is good. I, I need to tell you all that. That's just part of me. That's part of my life. That's something I can't, like, hide and not have on this channel. Um, the goodness of God is real. And lately I'm just I'm just feeling a lot of his goodness and, and I'm just I'm just absorbing it. He's he's pouring out the blessings and I'm so very grateful. Before. <laughs>
<laughs> it's hard to film a dog with bing bong like all over me. She's an aggressive snuggler. She is like demanding snuggles. <laughs> but yeah, just lately, everything we needed. He held off that weather perfectly. He made every everywhere else around us was storming, booming, bad weather. But the spot where we were at was perfect weather. It was beautiful. It was the perfect day to go out and do that fundraiser. And he held off the bad weather. He held off the rain until we got all of that stuff loaded and we got all of that stuff home. And he just, he just, you know, perfect timing as, as if he planned it, right? Which he did. It was the perfect planning. And he had a plan and a way for us to be able to feed all these animals. All these people are giving us wonderful support and showing us love and giving us a way to continue our rescue. And every time we've needed something and just didn't know how we were gonna make it or didn't know how we were gonna have this happen or um, we just, we had used up all of our human resources, come to the end of our rope and then comes God. And he never failed. He never has and he never will. The goodness of God is just, so great right now <laughs> i can see every moment and every time in my life when he's just he's just coming through for us he's really wanting this to happen i think he's rooting for this shelter i'm grateful for the new six you know little babies little creatures that we now have to care for i'm grateful for them i'm grateful for everything else that comes into our life in the future and it might be busy it might be a lot it might be a huge responsibility but i wouldn't have it any other way and now that we have come to the end of a very long and happy weekend um i'm gonna bid you guys good night and get some well needed and well earned sleep and tomorrow begins another week tomorrow is monday so i better get some good sleep tonight <laughs> i love you guys and i'll see you on the next one bye